Hello, so I went out and I took some pictures based on the storyboards that I'd made. And at first I just went out and I tried to copy these storyboards exactly as they were with uh, the actors that I had to hand, which was basically me and my son. That is it. So um, I want to show you some of those first pictures that we did. So this one here is very very similar to the storyboard i've got someone lying on the bed in the bedroom reading a book with the headphones on um, and i did take an additional one i took in fact i took loads of pictures to try and get the right angle the right shot the right expression but it occurred to me that um very clearly this wasn't a teenager it's all of the stuff the minecraft the stars the bedding you know it's my eight-year-old son and it looks like my eight-year-old son reading a harry potter book because uh, that's exactly what it was so this was bad mise en scene it's a great setting if that's what i wanted but the market is a teenager so i needed to make him more mature okay let's have a look at some of the other pictures i took as well so i got my son to sit in the back of the car and take a photo exactly as I'd intended over the shoulder um, but I was just wearing the clothes that I was normally wearing at the time and I'm in the car park and clearly again just a bit of foresight that mise en scene is poor I don't look like a commuter going to work and clearly I'm not on a journey anywhere so it's making that extra bit of effort to get that setting right I mean of course I can photoshop stuff in here I can try and change my outfit but the less you do in editing, the better quality your product will be. Make the pictures uh, correct to start with. So the best thing you can do is get out there, get the right costume, the right setting, the right background, the right props. All of those things will create the appropriate mise en scene, which will lead to a better image. So I tried it. I actually did it on my way to work. Uh, tried to take a selfie. Didn't quite work. I mean, I can crop this and it will look all right but it doesn't quite give you the same um, thing that I wanted this idea of going on a journey um, I tried a side view to see out the window um, and again you know it's not quite what I'm looking for and again I was going to work but I don't look like a stereotypical commuter and it's all out of focus because I wasn't looking through the lens so I'm not happy with any of these photos I wanted to go away make some appropriate changes choose a, a costume and um, set up the scene go to the location I want and actually take some proper photos so I went away and I took those photographs and it's probably worth pointing out as well that I used a face up so I couldn't get anyone else it's just me and my son and we've got to create at least three different characters so using face up I was able to just take a photograph of myself and pose and let some software age me appropriately so I look like the older person and I had a lot of control over um, different styles whether I had a beard what color hair I had all of those things so um, I'll show you they actually look quite effective and this is free software it's free to download on any phone so here is the original image and that's me reading a comic and this is actually, um, I decided to change it and have my teenager reading a comic and have my retired old person in the same pose, same place reading a comic to try and imply that they're from the same home and to try and challenge stereotypes. My teenager, teenager looks a bit more mature because they're in a bit more of a mature setting but they're reading a comic for intertextuality whereas my um, elderly um, retired character looks like they're challenging stereotypes because they're old but they're still reading comics at home whilst listening to the radio so this image was for the older person and i wanted to make it old and so using face up you can see here I, I just had some different settings you've got that one there and that one there and to be perfectly honest if i crop this when i come to crop this on my thing that's actually pretty convincing as a as an older person reading a comic whilst listening to the digital radio um, which is sort of perfect for what I wanted so that's using the face app and I also use the face app to um, create some of my DJs 
So this is the older DJ who's going to be um, the opinionated one and I'll take away this background and just have them against the backdrop. And um, this was the younger DJ who's um, I've applied a bit of a face app to as well, given myself hair. Um, and again, I'll take away this background. I could have done a gender one as well and just had a load of different versions of me. But uh, thankfully, at that point, my wife did volunteer to take a photo. So um, she will be my female DJ. Okay, so I've got my DJs and I've got my characters. And I will just show you the um, other pictures that I used for the teenager. So for the teenager, for the commuter, I have either this picture or this picture, which clearly show a road, a journey. I will crop it to get rid of the cables and things. I'm wearing a shirt to demonstrate that I'm going to work. And on the radio, I might put the um, radio frequency on there to show it as if it's listening to the radio in the car so I've got this one or this one every time I make a video the school bell goes so I've got this one or this one um, for the commuter and for coming home from the outside I decided to shoot it in a more residential area where I live um, and so this shows you can sort of vaguely see me but that's quite good that you can't really see me that much it's more the idea of coming home um, with the lights on and I chose that picture because the sun's going down the headlights are on um, and I might crop out my license plate and stuff like that so um, there you go that there is um, my original images and there's the teenager listening to music whilst watching um, whilst reading a comic okay